Hello Pisarians, welcome to your horoscope for July 2024. So for this month we have on the 3rd of July we've got Mercury moving into Leo, that's going to be the 6th house, so that is a, to do with health, um, so that is going to be I mean, communication, health or thinking about how to improve your health in some way. On the 12th you're going to have Venus also in there as well, so it could be about um, actually taking it sort of action and looking after yourself a bit better, a bit more if you need to um, or or your health improving in some way on the 21st you're going to have Mars moving in to Gemini that's your fourth house that can bring about arguments in the home but it also can be a strength as well so Mars is like a strength or it can be arguments um, on the 26th, v Mercury moving into Virgo, that's your 7th house, house of relationships, so communication can run more smoothly into terms of like partners um, or with relationships in general as well. When we look at the cards here, Pisces, I feel like it's you're on a face-off here with someone, um, someone who can be a bit, dis bit despite, uh, spiteful, someone who relishes in... Uh, like so there's a betrayal here I feel like someone who might not be trustworthy but is like a leader there's some sort of leader of a pack or some sort of a leader about them and you're having to face them so it's good about facing your fears or facing a certain reality um, that's coming up with this you're, you could also be read a little, a little research or digging deep in a lot of wisdom that you have unlocking certain wisdom this could be to do with the ninth house here so this could be to do with um, if, if it's like a course that you're doing, um, spiritual work, or if you're meditating or unlocking certain, certain spiritual work here, but you're looking into a depth or something that has a lot of wisdom here for you. I do also feel like for this month, it might feel like your, the path you're on is a long and hard, but at the same time, it's well worth the journey in the end. I feel like though your journey that you're on though is looking quite bright. Um, I think particular about it's a different journey that you're on for this month okay let's have a look here even at work here you are being quite intuitive you do have a lot of insight here at work but at the same time you're getting um, instructions or you're dealing with people someone who's very knowledgeable who knows what they want they even could be someone who you might be having to do a lot of night work or looking back potentially too for the month ahead it's like you've got the key here to unlock everything you need, but as well as you need to trust yourself or have that confidence to do what you have to do for this month as well. When we look at family here, I feel like there's, there's wires crossed, so I feel like that there's a mis miscommunication or people getting the wrong idea, but some sort of like wires being crossed here when it comes to family. I do feel like you need to like talk things out more, negotiate things out more to do with the home. When we come looking at money here, um, again, it's like researching here on different aspects to do with financial. There's a lot of researching knowledge that needs to be found this month here, Pisces. Could be that you're writing, like writing out budgets, writing out your expenses here as well. Okay, so let's have a look here when it looks at relationships. There is, with relationships, there is something here of having to do a lot of reflection work or like look at yourself. Um, it could be a bit of emotional month here when it comes to relationships. You could be trying to reframe yourself or reframe yourself. Or, or you, it's like you're taking action, but you're changing up what you're doing. You're not doing things the same way anymore. You're doing it very differently as well. Let's see. I feel like though um, there's a lot of emotion that's coming in here too this month ahead. When we look here at to do with friends, um, look you're being very stubborn when it comes to friends. Um, you know what you want, you know what you want from your friends, but you're being very stubborn in how you're getting it. Is what I feel, and I do feel like there's one friend that I don't really want to. There's no commitment with, like I don't, they don't want to commit to you as a friend or in a social circle. They feel like they're very free spirited, and they don't want to commit um, either. And it's like you know, want to relax this month. It's like you know, but you're not 
maybe you're not able to, but I just feel like you do want to be able to have a relaxing time. Uh, I do feel like that you're going to feel like the odd one out. You're going to feel like that you're coming into your own more and um, even your own spiritual belief, being or beliefs is, is changing this month too here, Piscearians. And you don't want to make a fuss about anything. You just want to get things done this month too. So let me just see what I can get for you, Piscearians. Pisces, this is a month where you might seem like you forget a lot or being very forgetful. Write things down. Make sure you understand everything that is given to you. Make sure that you research and make sure that everything is done in the right way. That way you will not have any complications coming up in the months ahead. Okay. So thank you for your likes, shares and your comments. And I will see you for my next video. So bye for now.